going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how I tie my favorite super easy um, pellet fly. Now with stocking seasons around the country coming up, we are well aware that many of our trout that we fish for are stocked fish. And so whenever you fish for stocked fish, you have to take into consideration that you're going to be fishing for fish that are accustomed to eating pellets. And so today I'm going to show you my way of making my little pellet fly here. Um, there are other ways as well that I could, that uh, we'll do a series, but let's be real. If we want to catch some stock trout, we want to be efficient at it. One of the great ways to do that is to fish a pellet fly. So here we go. I'm going to start from scratch. All right, you're just going to need a few things for this fly. First thing being, um, I like to use some deer hair. Um, don't need really good deer hair, but typically finer deer hair looks a little better. I don't think it really matters. Another thing, you're going to need some strong-ish thread. Um, I think I would go no lighter than 140 denier, um, and I'd like to match my thread to my uh, fly. So all I'm going to do, and I'm not a very good deer hair spinner, but alas, here we are. I'm just going to throw a really light, light, light uh, thread base down, and I'm not going to go that far back. I'm, I'm going to treat this like I'm tying an egg, like a yarn egg. So I'm going to go probably until about uh, the hook point or a little behind. Okay, I, being someone who is very um, anal retentive, I guess, about saving progress, I'm going to throw a whip finish right here because, as we all know, all it takes is one pull too hard to break thread. Okay, another thing I like to use is I like to take a pen cap and uh, one with a smaller side, one with a larger side, and I hollow it out so that whenever I push my hair, I can use, depending on the size of the fly, the pen cap. A small, not that great pair of scissors that I can use to cut the hair because we don't want to use our nice scissors. And also, one additional thing I like to do is I like to use a flame to char the hair. Okay, so now that we have our thread wrap, I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe a pencil, a pencil's width of hair, maybe a little more. Cut at the base. It's going to be quite ugly until we trim it. I take all of the loose uh, fibers over a garbage can off. And because we're not, we don't need to stack this at all because we're going to be doing a lot of trimming, I just lay everything down halfway across, loose gather, another loose gather, and then pull straight down. It's going to flare our hair and spin it a little bit. One more, one more. I'll take a bodkin once in a while. I have some trapped hair here around the hook shank. I'm just going to free that. All right. Now, here's where I take that pen cap and I push back on the hair. Allows me to gather it and throw a few wraps up front. And I'm going to repeat that process. The, these middle ones here, I will tend to gather a little more hair than the back and the front because being conscious of taper, we want to make our fly look realistic, right? Here we go, so as we get towards the front here, we want to make sure we don't overcrowd our eye. It's probably going to be our last batch. I like to work the thread once or twice through. So 
So I'm going to take my scissors, do a little trim, initial trim, so that I can get my whip finish in nice and simply. I'm going to whip finish trim we finish one more time cut my thread and now the real fun begins because what I have to do is cut this to imitate pellet. So, first off, I'm going to go. I like to do this over a garbage can, but it doesn't allow me to show you, does it? If you have one, use a razor blade. It's a little easier, but... You can see we're starting to get there. I'll try and maintain some form of symmetry here. Okay, and now, if you don't like the smell of burnt hair, you're not going to like this part. You're going to take your flame, just give it a little burst over top, but first, just to be sure, I want to give a little bit of head cement or UV resin to my front fibers to protect them a little bit. Give it a little blast and prepare to wop the way smoke. All right. There you have it. Not every, not two, no two are going to look the same. Whew. No two are going to smell the same. But you have a pellet fly that looks like the food that these trout that you've been, that have been farm raised, are going to eat on a consistent basis. And uh, hopefully you uh, get into a few good ones, get something yummy to bring home for supper. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlists. You know, make sure you check out the links below. I have a Patreon page that allows you to get instant access and some really cool uh, behind-the-scenes footage and some one-on-one -on -one interaction with me. And, uh, you know, other cool goodies and things that allow you to uh, be more involved in the community. So, until next time, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines. And we're out.